It's me, I'm back. I'm so sorry, this was supposed to go up yesterday and yesterday, I tell you, was a day. But we've got, I'm gonna play with Chromes today. I saw a video on Instagram. I'll put the link, I'll put the video up here. This is the person I mean, right? Um, play, they were playing with Chromes and I was like, oh my gosh. Right, I've got some Chromes here. The top three are from Nail Sugar, but they don't have, they don't stock them anymore. The bottom five are from the current Nail Sugar ones, right? I'm gonna use my Kirsty Meekin Fantasy Forms to to do a Chrome hack. <laughs> right? Oh my gosh, this is so good. Right, when I do Chrome, I get it everywhere and in places that I don't want it. So I'm gonna use the forms and they're gonna help. And the chrome is gonna look amazing, in my opinion. Right, I've put a little bit of top coat on my palette, right? Now in this video, the lady had like a plastic sheet, and under the plastic sheet, she had images of what she wanted to she basically traced the images through the plastic sheet i am going to not trace them because obviously i can't but i am drawing my design on right now this is tiny it's so small it's ridiculous i'm gonna do a bigger one in a minute so if you can't see do bear with because I'll do as I'll do a bigger one so you can see what I'm doing. But I'm I'm drawing on a I'm drawing a flower. This flower is very similar to the one in the ladies video. I just I wanted to give it a go and I thought you know what let's just record it. Let's just record it. And also, <clears throat> good thing about me doing this on my fantasy forms is that the forms curve with the nail. So yeah, that's a good thing. Oh, I paused it so you could see the shape there. Did you see the shape? So that's supposed to be three petals. I'm going to pop it in my lamp for 30 seconds, but I like to slightly under cure it. So I, I pull it out after 25 and then I'm going to rub this darker purple chrome over my top coat. Look at it. Look at it. It's great. I love it already. Right. Wipe off with a soft brush. If you use a hard brush, you will scrape off the chrome. So do it with a soft brush. And then between my three petals, I'm going to add two more, just in between them, like this. Okay, I'm going to cure that again for 25 seconds. I'm going to use the, the lilac one this time. I love this chrome so much. Oh my gosh, it's such a lovely colour. <laughs> again, only, only need a tiny bit. I always get too much, but there we go. Then I'm going to rub it into the two new petals that I've put on. Can you see? So we're getting like a flower. Can you see it? Can you see it? Look! Oh my gosh! It's coming alive! And then, right, yeah, brush off the excess. Because like, if I'm doing this on a nail, you, I'm never sure whether to, like, do I top coat it? Matte, matte top coat it? And then, and do you know what I mean? And it's just, it's just a headache. So by doing it this way, I, oh, by the way, this was me putting a little bit of gold. I don't have a green chrome. Karen, can you get some coloured chromes in, please? Please, please, please. <laughs> um, I put a little bit of gold uh, to go at the bottom of the flower and then up in like the middle of the petals a little bit. So that, I don't know what you call it. What's that bit that's on the end of the stem that holds that the, the head of the flower sits on? Do you know that bit? And then I added one more little bit at the bottom, this is like the, the, the actual cup bit that the flower head sits in that then attaches to the stem. All very professional words I'm using. Can you see? Pop out the lamp. And then again, I'm going to do this uh, gold because I don't have any green. So we're going to use gold and then brush it off. And then like li literally, that's it done. And by doing it this way, I'm not going to get loads of chrome everywhere over my nail. Literally just on the design where I want it. If you squeeze the, the forms, it literally just pops off either side. I'm going to use a tweezer thing. Can you see it? I was trying to show you it popping off. But honestly, it's so thin. It's so thin. Um, oh, right. Before we put this on, we need a nail to put it on to. So I'm going to use Madame Glam's white. This is perfect white. 
Um, by the way, you can save 10% on nail sugar chromes using my code NATMUG10. And you can save 30% on Madame Glam. I dropped it. <laughs> oh, what an idiot. What a dipstick. And, and I placed it on and I was like, okay, uh, yeah, that's all right there. By the way, if you're poking it with tweezers, careful you don't scrape off the... I was going to try and move it. But I, I literally couldn't because it was stuck down and then I couldn't get it off. And I thought if I, if I scrape it, I'm going to ruin it. So I was like, right, it's fine there. Yep, that's the plan. It's just going to go there. I've then done another one. Again, this one, I had issues picking up. It just, it was so thin and fine. It just, look, it was like, I'm going to come off now. Oh, I'm going to come off again. You're not going to be able to pick me up ever. <laughs> I got it. The little sausage. There we go. Right, this one's going to go on that way. So it's kind of going in the opposite direction. And I was like, oh. And I did get a little bit of chrome on the on the tacky layer, but that's because it was on my finger. So that was my fault. I'm going to no wipe top coat this because I think it's going to look really nice. No wipe top coated. It just makes that chrome like pop. Like, ooh, it's so poppy. Pop, pop, pop. <laughs> What's wrong with you, Atma? I don't know. I don't know. Look at that. How nice is that? Right, we're going to do it just once more using, um, again, using the forms, the fantasy forms from Kirsty Meekin. But we're going to make this a bigger one. This is going to be a statement flower. So, again, the shape that I'm, I'm hoping you can see this better. Perhaps I should have zoomed in more. It's basically like if you like crystals, this is what I'd call the navette shape. Or, yeah, it's the navette shape. So it's like a canoe or a petal. It's basically like a petal, isn't it? Can you see? And we're going to do three of those. I mean, obviously, you could do any any type of flowers that you wanted. I just, I literally just copied that lady's flower. <laughs> Which is why I have to mention her because she credit where credit's due, right? It's just... It's just manners. It's just polite. So I'm going to pop that in the lamp, right? And then I'm going to use the dark chrome, the dark purple chrome again. And we're going to chrome over the top. It wouldn't matter if you but if you use the lilac chrome both times because you will have you you'd have painted this and then you'd have chromed it and then you'd have added the non-white top coat on again that you'd still see definition between the petals. So it wouldn't matter if you didn't want to use two different types of chrome. You could still use the same one because you'd still see the shape of the petal because of because it's you're, you're kind of layering. Okay, so it's not... It, yeah, it's not the end of the world if you don't have two different types of chrome. FYI. So this is going to go in between. Oh, I love doing this so much. I wish I had more colour chromes. That can you? I don't know if you can see. Can you see it? Can you see it? That's going to go in the lamp, and then I'm going to use the lilac one, the lighter one. Look how nice that's looking. And again, just be really careful with the soft brush because you don't want to you don't want to like scuff off any of the chrome. Then I'm going to take a little bit more of the no wipe top coat. I'm going to put a little. I don't know what the word is. It's, it's basically like the, you know where the stem is? It's like the little cup bit that the that the, the actual flower head sits in. Is Are there any flower experts out there? I don't even know the name of flower experts. I can't think. Um, Chelsea Flower Show. Who does the... Oh, I don't know. And then I'm just going to add the gold. So I'm adding the little... They're kind of like little veins. I don't even know. This is the gold one. Brush it off. And then that is our big flower. Oh, I love it. I love that so much. I'm going to take it off now with my tweezers very carefully. You can't see because I'm out of shot. But it just pops off the form. The forms are great. And then I'm going to place that somewhere like that. Dab it on. It literally gets proper stuck onto that tacky layer. So you don't have to worry about... Yeah, as long as... Then, I mean, yeah, just yeah, stick it in the tacky layer. And then I'm going to top coat again. <laughs> I'm gonna link um, Nell Sugar's chromes. That I'll, I'll link the the link to the chromes section uh, with the pigments on down below, and um, Kirsty Meekin's forms. And also, um, there's my link tree down there as well with discount codes in. But that's them. I hope you like this video. I hope you find it helpful. I'll see you in the next one. Love you. Bye.